we will be discussing in this topic about the process of heating and cooling of the atmosphere and the temperature distribution over the earth's surface the source of heat and energy for the earth as we all know is the sun the earth receives its energy from the sun by the process of radiation which is in the form of short waves this is called incoming solar radiation or insulation the amount of heat received by the different parts of the earth is not the same everywhere this variation causes pressure difference in the atmosphere which is the cause of movement of air in the atmosphere the horizontal movement of air is called wind and the vertical movement of air is called air current as the earth is of geoid shape or is almost spherical in shape the sun's rays fall obliquely or tangentially at the top of the atmosphere so the earth is able to intercept only a very small part of the solar energy the amount of energy that the earth receives at the top of the earth's atmosphere is 1.94 calories per square centimeter per minute this is also known as solar constant the solar radiation received at the top of the atmosphere is not always the same due to the elliptical shape of the earth's orbit around the sun during its revolution around the sun the earth is farthest from the sun on 4th july as its distance is 152 million kilometers from the sun whereas the average distance of the earth from the sun is 149 million kilometers This position of the earth in its orbit is called aphelion as the earth is at its apogee or at the farthest point in its orbit around the sun on 3rd january the earth is nearest to the sun in its orbit as its distance is 147 million kilometers from the sun this position is called phirelion or the earth is at its phirigi or at the farthest point in its orbit around the sun as a result of this the annual insulation received by the earth is slightly higher on 3rd january than the amount of heat received on 4th july another factor that determines the amount of insulation received on the earth is angle of incidence or inclination of the sun's rays The higher latitude region of the earth receives more inclined rays as compared to the regions close to the equator which receives more vertical rays of the sun. This happens because the earth is rotating on an inclined axis and revolving around the sun in its orbit. As a result the amount of temperature received on the earth is not the same everywhere. The sun's rays are vertical near the equator and it becomes inclined towards the pole. In its revolution round the sun, the sun's rays fall vertically on the equator on 21st March and 23rd September and it is vertical on the Tropic of Cancer on 21st June and on the Tropic of Capricorn on 22nd December. When the sun's rays fall vertically on the equator, there is equal duration of day and night everywhere on the earth that is 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night and it is called equinox 21st march and 23rd september is known as equinox when the sun's rays fall vertically on the tropics it is called solstice 21st june is called summer solstice as the vertical rays of the sun is on the tropic of cancer on that day as a result the northern hemisphere has the longest day and shortest night on this day whereas 22nd december is called winter solstice as the vertical rays of the sun is on the tropic of capricorn as a result in the northern hemisphere it is short it is the shortest day and longest night on this day The vertical rays of the sun falls only within the tropics that is only up to the latitude of 23 and a half degree in both the hemisphere 
and the region away from the tropic receives only slanting rays of the sun. It is because of this that the tropical region is the hottest region of the world. And as we go higher in the latitude, the temperature goes on decreasing and it is minimum at the poles. The insulation received on the earth's surface of the earth varies from 320 watt per square meter in the tropics to 70 watt per square meter in the poles. Maximum insulation is received over the subtropical deserts as moisture and cloudiness is least due to dry conditions there.